Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the screen application. If you spend any time on a console or using SSH sessions to manage Linux servers, you should be familiar with screen and you should probably be using it. Uh, that said, let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, today I am working on a Fedora 31 system. I have the screen program already installed, but if you don't, on uh, either using either the apt program or yum or DNF, you can usually just install screen from your repository in order to get this program. Um, basically on a regular uh, GUI system like this, I, if, if I have a command going like ping and I wanna do something else, it's not too big a deal because I could really just hit that, that plus icon and you know, create another window and you know run whatever command I want, uh, like top. Uh, but if I am remoted into a system using SSH or I am working directly on a terminal, that becomes a little more complicated uh, because I have to stop what I'm doing and then start doing something else and then stop what I'm doing and then start doing something else. Um, I'm gonna hit Control L to clear my screen up here. Uh, but if we use the program screen, we have uh, some options that we don't have otherwise. So in order to um, start a screen session, you uh, use the, the, the word screen and uh, hit enter. Uh, you'll see uh, I'm now in, in a virtual terminal session that allows me some flexibility that I don't normally get. So if I go to, uh, say for instance do that ping now um, I have the ability uh, to use the screen control functions which is uh, control A and then D to detach and now I'm back in in my regular terminal session if I want to reaccess that screen session I type screen again and then uh, dash R to reattach to screen and you can see I'm back where I started. So I'm gonna go ahead and end, end that ping and you'll see that I, I have a, another virtual console I can work in here. So I'm gonna exit out of this one and you can see right here that that terminated uh, my screen session. So now if I try and see if there's any screen sessions open, I can do screen dash ls to list those screen sessions and you'll see that there are none there. Um, so if I uh, want to start a new screen session up, I type screen again, and I can uh, use a capital S switch to give it a name just so I can kind of keep things straight. Uh, so now I'll go ahead and jump in a screen session, and I will go ahead and um, we'll start a top session. Now let's say I want to multitask uh, while I'm in here, and I don't want to just have top running, I can do control A, and I can uh, type C for create a new one. And you're gonna see that I can now uh, ping um, and have a second virtual terminal that I have access to. Um, so I've got a, a, a ping going now. If I hit Control A and Control A again, I can uh, now switch between these sessions that I have open. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Put out of this ping one and uh, you see it jumps me back to my original so if i want to detach from this screen now i can do a control a and hit d and say i drive home and i'm leaving the office and i'm going to my house i can get home i can ssh back into that system i can list what screen sessions i have available to connect to by dash ls again and I can see that demo uh, option is there and it's detached and ready to go. So if I type screen uh, dash R for reattach and I can do tab completion, uh, I can go ahead and jump back in that demo screen and have access uh, once again to the program that I left running. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not much more complicated than that. I'm gonna go ahead and quit out of this. Um, I strongly recommend if you haven't uh, played with this that you uh, jump in and give it a try. Um, and uh, if you like this type of content, please, you know, give me a like and subscribe and I have plenty more that I'll be putting online. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.